Welcome to State of Tech. We're going to take a look at the newly updated Instagram for iOS 7. If we open up Instagram, it's going to log us into our account, and we can begin scrolling through and viewing all of the photos in our newsfeed. You're seeing the new update here. We have our profile pictures are now circles up in the top corner. The elements in the application have been reflected to the iOS 7 design schemes, and now our photos are an edge to edge on our actual display. We have the same basic functions. If we double tap on a photo, say if we double tap on that one, we can like the photo. We can like it down here with the buttons. We can still comment, and you see it brings up our keyboard like we normally would expect in iOS 7. And then we can even you know flag this, tweet it, and copy and share the URL. Now up at the top, you'll notice this nice little animation. If we come up here and I start scrolling down the photos, you see Instagram starts to disappear. The blue fades away and now we're back to an all white scheme and you can even see the photo that we're scrolling up translucent in the menu bar above and as we get to the next photo you see the old users disappear with that and it locks us into the user that we're currently viewing and then it fades it away up here at the top screen you see as it fades away each user as I scroll through. Our same basic functions here on the Explore tab, we have all of our popular photos. We can search for users and hashtags. We have a nice little animation here. It's kind of like a slider on each one of these menus. You see if we type users and hashtags and tap on that, it kind of slides over, giving us a nice clean animation here using iOS 7's themes. We have our following and news right here. So you see we have that same animation here, that same nice sliding feature. We have a refresh in the top right hand corner. And you see all of the profile images are now circles representing iOS 7's new circle theme. And then our profile tab has gotten a little bit of an update. We have our profile photo up here where we can tap on that, remove it, import from Facebook or Twitter, take or even choose a new photo. We have our photos down here. You see it's a nice little edge to edge animation now. We don't really have anything compacting the photos down. We're all edge to edge on each photo. And if we tap on a different view, you see them again here edge to edge for the photo on our display. So it's a really nice update here to Instagram. It makes everything here feel with iOS 7. There are some still areas that need to be updated to reflect the full theme. This uh, photos map here, for example, you see the buttons at the top still look very iOS 6 like. And even on the camera interface, we still have an old interface here that very well represents iOS 6. It doesn't really look that much different to iOS 7. But one thing I am going to try out here, you see it doesn't yet select the video, it doesn't support the video for slow-mo for the iPhone 5S, which is a little unfortunate. We were I was hoping to see that here in the update, but no, we're still viewing our photos here and videos here, and we can still upload them, but we're not going to have support for the slow-mo video of the iPhone 5S yet. So that is a little bit of a letdown for this update, but you know, we are updated to the new user interface for iOS 7, which does look really nice. There are some nice animations and a visual appeal to this that is going to suit you on iOS 7. And that's going to be Instagram on iOS 7.